Let's talk about the Perclaw. Stay tuned. God bless your friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate. As always, it is my absolute pleasure every time I come and speak with you. Before the end of this video, if you like what you hear or if you've seen my previous video and you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you hear, you actually get in value, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll be glad to have you a part of the smart show. Yeah. Those prayer claw. Now, it is scripture, and I'm going to talk about it. We're going to put some perspective to it. It's just a piece of cloth. In the Bible days, they used the end of their garments like Jesus did in Matthew 14 and 36. In Matthew 9 and 21, they brought the people to Jesus. They touched the hem of his garment. Their disease and sickness left. And also the woman who had issue of blood for 12 long years. Y'all know the story. She didn't even touch Jesus. But she reached out. Oh my God. Thank you today. And she touched the hem of his. Ah. Thank you. She touched the hem of his garment. And immediately she was made whole. And I think where we are with this situation with Brother Jay. In Acts 19 and 12. Where the Apostle Paul. Because he actually mentioned this in one of his live videos. Had Hank and aprons and the people touched that and they were healed so yes friend handkerchiefs cloths prayer cloths they're very instrumental in the Bible in fact I got a prayer cloth or a prayer shawl so to speak you've seen it in my life when I did prayer and let me tell you the prayer cloth cannot heal you it's just a point of contact something that would remind you that somebody's in agreement with you and hopefully it would build your faith. I actually use prayer cloths in my ministry where I've given them out to people, bought handkerchiefs and given them out, actually cut them up into little pieces. Uh, when there was a, a financial blessing, there was a wave of finance that came through at one time. I'd cut little pieces up and gave them to individuals uh, just so I can let them know I'm in agreement with you. Some say they've noticed a financial difference in a couple I didn't hear from. I don't know I guess it depends on your faith. All I can do is pray the prayer of faith. It's up to you to believe and it's up to God to do what he chooses to do. A lot of people have issues with this. They say they say that Brother Jay is selling prayer cloth. Now, I don't know if he's selling prayer cloth or not. You have to go out and buy the material, especially when a lot of people are asking for it. You have to go out and buy it. And in order to get that money back, you have to put a charge on it. And I think Miss Vivian say that they're being embroidered. Uh, some things are being stitched in and that service is being outsourced. So that is a cost that's involved. And you can hear what she's saying. As you guys know, embroidering is not cheap. I actually could have asked for more for this for a prayer cloth because I'm not actually doing the work. I'm outsourcing the work. And I don't know if he's making a profit or not. You guys just have to let me know what you think about it. All I know is in ministry, when God has gifted me and blessed me with something, I do not charge anyone for anything. I dare not charge when God has blessed me with a gift. Yes, friend. But. If you call me to do ministry of some sort out of state or what have you, then yeah, you'll be expected to pay for my gas, hotel and accommodation for food and different things of that nature. That's just the right thing to do. And the church needs to stop trying to take advantage of people saying, hey, you should do it for free. You're doing a work for God. That is true. But there are some expenses that are involved. We got to use common sense now. And there are times where I've gone over the road. They really didn't have the money to give. I saw them at the tables trying to figure things out and I'm like look don't pay me don't worry about it pay the other people that you've called God's gonna take care of me cuz I love doing what I'm doing and when you've called to do something you do it without a charge so I don't know if he's necessarily uh, charging but rather getting his money back from the expenses of the prayer cloth y'all let me know what you think uh, leave your comments in the comment section in the meantime in between time be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.